back here again at Murray Bridge for part two of my riding course to get rid of the L's on the back of my bike, which would be great. Um, a little bit apprehensive about this one, um, a lot of slow stuff, which I've been practicing in the last few weeks, um, but you know, that it's, I've, I've been finding that difficult. I think the thing that's on my mind a little bit is that they gave us a taster of how to do a U-turn on the first course, and um, I actually dropped the bike and broke the brake lever. Um, not funny, really. Um, they were great about it. it. wasn't my bike, so I'm fine about that. Um, so yeah, that little bit is on my mind a little bit. So, but I have been practicing it, and um, we'll just have to see how we go today. The weather's fine. It's a bit chilly, but that's okay. It's not raining, which is good. Um, so look, fingers crossed, and I'll check in again later. Um, a new video from me. I haven't done one for a little while. Um, there was a little one I did on Saturday because Saturday I went back to Murray Bridge to take the second part of my bike test to get my R date license. And I am very, very happy to say that now I don't need this. I passed. Um, it wasn't an easy afternoon. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be an easy afternoon when I finished the first part of my course. They give you this little sheet of paper saying, this is what you'll be tested on when you come back for the second part. Um, they give you that for a reason, because to be honest, if you don't practice this, for a lot of people, um, you'll, when you go, you'll find what they ask you to do very, very difficult. Some people are natural and they just breeze through it and they've been riding around paddocks since they were three. Um, for me, this wasn't easy and I went down to the local car park quite a lot to specifically practice these really slow and tight manoeuvres. Just being out on the road just doesn't cut it for this. Um, and I know that I knew that if I didn't practice, um, I wouldn't get anywhere close to passing. Anyway, so that was very, very useful. The whole afternoon was <laughs> stressful. Um, I can't say I enjoyed it, um, but I'm just glad that I managed to pass. Um, they did a few practice of various things on the afternoon, a couple of videos. One of the videos, the first video actually, was about defensive riding um, and what sort of hazards to look for while you're out on the road, which is really, really important. And if you follow the rider guider, you'll know that's one of the emphasis is that he has um, on um, his videos as well is defensive riding. So it's a good channel to be watching for that. So on the day, like I said, start off with a video about defensive riding, then we went out and the first thing we practiced was um, slow, straight line riding. Um, just did a couple of practices on those because that was part of the test. Just sort of clutch work, back brake, that sort of thing, slowing yourself down, keeping in a straight line, looking ahead. That was all very well and good. Um, then we practiced the um, right and left U-turns um, within a very, for me, very tight box, uh, full lock turn. And I really did struggle with that, really, really did. Some of them just nailed it so easily and made it look fantastically easy and flowy. Um, for me, that was um, one of the hardest things I had to do. We did some other exercises as well that weren't really part of the um, assessment at the end, um, sort of concentric circles, going between two cones. Actually, that bit was quite fun. Um, and then just doing some wide ovals and that sort of thing, getting up to gear, um, coming down gears, um, taking, the, taking the bends. One of the things they really did focus on was um, turning your head. And every, virtually everything we did was like, look where you want to go, look where you want to go, turn your head right round, look at the next set of cones that you're going to go through. And they really did emphasize that, um, and they were looking carefully for that. Um, so after the U-turns, we did a few other exercises, and then all of a sudden, it was the assessment. Uh, and some of the things in the assessment, we didn't get a chance to practice on that afternoon. So you really do need to take this into consideration when you're doing your practicing. Um, the first thing you had to do from a standing start was weave through a very tight S without putting your foot down and without going over the lines. Um, that, um, I think, you can lose points on every section um, and still get through. Um, obviously, they're not looking perfect for perfection necessarily, and it's great if you get that, um, but they're looking for control and, you know, knowing that you've actually done enough practice to uh, merit getting your R date license. 
So the tight S and then straight into the full um, U-turns, the, the right and left full lock U-turns, which I completely stuffed up and lost maximum points on, but hey, that was still okay. Um, then it went on to the weaving which, between two lines and then you got some little cat size that you had to weave through. Didn't practice that at all. I managed that. I'd been doing a lot of weaving as well, so I nailed that one okay, which was great. The next bit was the straight, slow ride. And the, guy, the instructor walks along beside you and he says, do you want me to call out, because you have to do it within 15 seconds, do you want me to call out the seconds? And I said, yes. So you'll go five, 10, and that. I got it in about 11 seconds, didn't put my foot down, stayed in the lines, but still lost a few points because I didn't do it within the 15 seconds. But that was okay too. The last thing we had to do was, um, from a standing start, get up to 30 k's an hour, and then on the signal, emergency brake. And they, we did a lot of practicing on that. I would say that's the one thing that you must nail. Uh, what I know, it's the one thing you must nail because you can fail on just that one thing. You can make everything else perfect, but if you don't nail that, that's it. You have to come back and do it again. Um, so a lot of practicing on that. So up to 30, nail it, um, come to a, a halt as soon as possible. Uh, first gear, left foot down. Um, I didn't get the left foot down, but that was okay because it was they were looking at you being able to stop within a short distance. And like I say, they practice that a lot. You can be perfect in everything else, but if you don't get that right, you'll have to come back and do it again. Overall, um, you know, being the only female there of about 10 others, quite intimidating, but the instructors were absolutely amazing. They tried to make me feel at ease. Several times they said, stop overthinking it, you're overthinking it. And I know I'm overthinking it. Um, just trying to be perfect. And to be honest, you don't have to be perfect, but you have to get the right things, the important things nailed on for you to get your um, R date license. I managed, I wasn't the worst. Um, I'm just delighted. And I said to myself, do you know what? Now that I've passed, I'm gonna treat myself. And you'll know more about that treat in the videos to come. So thanks for watching. See you all again soon.